record to this computer. There we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome. So we are here with our own uh, music director and video editor, David Lohman. He uh, created that fabulous, that fabulous virtual choir for Christmas this year. And uh, thank you, David, for joining us this morning so we can uh, hear about your process and get some tips so that we can do our own virtual choirs. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, without further ado, David, you so, want to go ahead and take it away? Yeah. So good morning, y'all. Um, good morning. You know, uh, uh, I am a, th a, a person of the theater, and so uh, uh, I am rarely up and functioning this hour of the morning. So, um, <laughs> hi. I'm uh, caffeinated and will try to be coherent. So, um, so welcome. Um, so as, as people uh, were just alluding, um, um, so first of all, just a disclaimer, like I, I am no expert and I watched a couple how-to videos online and, and then kind of faked it. So, um, but this is what, this is the process that I ended up with. Um, shortly, you know, just a, Gosh, it just seemed like a few weeks into the pandemic, if, if you were on social media, it was impossible not to see virtual choirs that started to pop up. And, and there was a lot of interest from a number of folks in our choir. Oh my gosh, let's do that. That looks so great. Um, and I had just started um, learning to do video editing. Um, when when we as St. Luke decided to that we were going to pre-record worship and we had a conversation among the staff and I was the one who volunteered to uh, I, I I I've done a tiny little bit of it but I I'm willing to learn how to how to do that so um, uh, with all this initial interest I knew that my video editing um, skills were nowhere up to the task. And Katie, you had reported that someone you knew had created one and it had spent 100, 100 hours on creating one of these. And, and I just thought, yeah, no. So I, as gently as I could, quashed that enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> and then cut to last fall and um, looking forward, looking ahead, <laughs> not looking forward, to but looking ahead <laughs> to Christmas and I was already feeling so melancholy about you know in anticipation of what Christmas was going to be like and I thought you know I've, I've learned enough vid video editing stuff and I think it would be so wonderful to have something at our Christmas Eve service that was really different and special and unlike anything that our community had seen before then. So I thought, okay, it's, I, let's, let's, let's tackle this. So um, we ended up doing two, um, uh, Jazz Gloria, which we're gonna be kind of dissecting the most, um, which was our choir anthem for that service. And then um, the, you know, the end of our Christmas Eve service, oh, it's my favorite moment in the entire church year, when the lights dim and the, the light from the Christ candle starts to spread out and, and we're singing Night of Silence and Silent Night and, you know, and it, I just like got choked up just thinking, oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to experience that. And so I thought, oh, maybe there's going to be, I had no idea how I was going to pull it off, but some way to kind of replicate on the screen that experience um so so let's do uh, two virtual choirs instead of just one yeah <laughs> lord <laughs> lord so um so all right so i am going to start my powerpoint here and share my screen All right, do you see that folks? Yes, we do. Okay, great, all right. So um, the first 
So what, what needed to happen is that everybody in the choir, in their own homes, all by themselves, were going to need to record themselves singing along to an accompaniment track. So the first step was to create that track, that recording. Um, so the first layer, um, I wanted to make sure that we had a really rock solid tempo because we were gonna have, you know, chip playing percussion. Um, and so started with a click track, which is just another name for kind of a, a, a metronome. Um, and it sounds, Can you hear that? Yep. So just a one, two, three, four, one. Okay. So then second step is then I play, record the piano, playing the piano while listening to the click track. So if you can see in the picture, I've got earbuds in, they lead up to, um, can you see my, my pointer moving on my screen? Yeah. Okay, great, great. That's helpful. Um, so there's my tablet up there. Um, I am listening to the click track while recording, recording the piano. Then the next step, um, I, I was just imagining um, doing this. I had, I had participated in a couple of these as a singer. And, um, and I just felt like it would it would be easier for everybody to actually have another human voice to sing along with instead of just like a piano plunking out their notes. Um, the, there's just the experience of singing with somebody else is different than singing along to an instrument. So I then um, recorded myself four times singing, so sorry. singing the soprano, singing the alto, singing the tenor, sing in the bass. So in the end, we ended up with four accompaniment tracks tailored to each of the four sections. So now time for the choir to get to work. Um, this is, I, I made, a, I made a, a few videos for the choir and, um, and I, I think we're just gonna listen to, to this one. This is, this is the one that, that I sent out kind of detailing what we were gonna be needing from everybody. Hello choir, coming to you from my home office now. Um, so let's talk about how we're actually gonna do, create these recordings. And I wanna say off the bat, this is a new experience for virtually everybody, okay? Don't let that be intimidating. Think of this <laughs> as an adventure. You know, in, in the midst of the year that we have endured and continue to endure, here is something completely different and approach it with a sense of adventure and fun um, and, uh, and not a source of stress because we have Love nothing that. in our lives right now. Okay, so, all right. So let's talk about how we're going to set up your space. First of all, you've got um, your scores, which um, have been emailed out. Okay, everyone has their own. You know, sopranos have their own score, altos have their own score, tenors and basses. Okay, so technically, what are you going to need? You're going to need two um, devices. One device on which you are going to be listening to the accompaniment recording. Okay. Um, and then the other second device is likely your cell phone, um, which you will use your camera to actually film and record as you sing. Okay. Um, the, um, the device that you are listening to um, can be, you know, uh, another cell phone, you know, if uh, there's someone else in your household that, that's got one, or a tablet, or um, or a laptop or, or whatever. Um, and then you'll need earphones or earbuds um, because you, you in the room live in that moment are the only one who's hearing the accompaniment track. So the recording 
does not include any of that. It's, it, it is recording you in a silent room singing. Okay, so it's just your voice that's being captured. So earbuds or earphones, okay? Okay, so we are walking into my messy office that I have hardly step, uh, stepped foot in all uh, uh, pandemic long. So um, let's talk about our setup. So I happen to have a tripod. Uh, you likely may not. Um, you can, um, if you've got, you know, a table and you could stack books up. The goal is to get the cell phone um, approximately at eye level. Um, so this, imagine this is my cell phone um, and that's uh, at my eye level. Um, notice the position that it's in. It is portrait mode as opposed to landscape <coughs> horizontal mode. It's vertical like this, okay? Um, another option here, I've got a bookcase. You could set the, um, prop the, the camera against something on, on a bookcase shelf as well. Um, find a wall, a neutral, um, preferably light colored wall um, with no art, um, just a blank wall, um, no patterned wallpaper if, if at all possible. We just want to see your beautiful faces and not get distracted by anything that is behind you. Okay, so I want to walk you through the final, the final process. So your camera's in place, okay? Front-facing camera. I'm going to hit record. Then I'm going to go over here and my music is set. And whatever device that I'm going to be listening to is all set. And my earbuds are right here. I put them in. And then I hit play. Four, three, two, one. And then I sing. Okay, so I think that's about it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me, okay? Um, and I will talk you through um, as best I can. And All right, so... A little quiet. Oh, there we go. So I'll talk about the 4, 3, 2, 1, clap, clap, clap in a minute. Um, I also created a rehearsal video so that we, you know, could... Uh, Actually, we're, we, this is a song that we had sung a couple years ago, but not everybody knew it. And so um, uh, there was a virtual rehearsal, virtual like everything else is in life these days. Um, so let's talk about the, that, the clapping. So there's this thing called slating. Um, if you've seen you know, a movie being filmed and someone's up in front and says, uh, you know, blah, 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 take 42, clap. That thing that that person is holding, that's a, that's a slate. And it's a way to get everything aligned. And so, um, because I was gonna have to, I ultimately had 35 roughly uh, layers of video and audio. And I had to make sure that it was all in sync. Um, and I'll, I'll, say more about um, about how how I did that but so at the very beginning of the of the accompaniment track um, there was um, you got four clicks for nothing and then me, me counting down four three two one and then clap 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 and then the beginning of the song so this is what folks were hearing Four, three, two, one. Drums. And then on into the song. So with that, the choir went to work. And if anybody wants to 
to pipe in about how traumatic this experience was, feel free. Um, but um, but you all did it. God bless you all. Um, recorded themselves and got their videos to me. And for some folks, the at, that's the second step was harder than the first. <laughs> um, but uh, we we uh, overcame the, the technical challenges and. Um, uh, bravo to all of you. So then I got to work. So this is this is the scene of the crime. This is where I work um, at home. My desk is actually my boyhood piano. This is the instrument that I learned to play on. And um, it sadly had ceased to be a viable instrument quite some time ago, but so I decided to gut it and uh, turn it into a desk. So I love the fact like right now and every day, I get to sit at my boyhood piano. So um, I've got three monitors because it makes my work so much easier when I have to go back and forth between, between screens so often. Um, one of the pieces of software that I use a lot is called Finale, it's music notation software. Um, and for for Night of Silence, the, the second of our two choir pieces, I needed to do this. And th this is a process that I go through every Sunday for, uh, for the two hymns that we sing. Whenever um, we're asking you to sing along, I go through this process of creating um, the, the notation, putting in the notes, putting in the text, making sure it looks pretty, splitting it up on pages so that it all makes sense. This gets, I turn this into an image file and then I take that to PowerPoint. This was our lovely Christmas PowerPoint background that Anne created for us. And then I just add the image that I created in the, in the notation software. Then I turn this now into a new image and import that into the video editing software. So it's, it's a bit of a process, but so now here's the the big part of the work. So what I use is a software called Adobe Premiere Elements. And this is um, what it looks like. <clears throat> Up above um, here, this is um, a view of the video itself that you are creating, okay? And then the way that this is, the, the way that this works is that video is stacked in layers, one on top of another. And so all along here are the labels of who all of these are. Each video has two components, the, the, visual, the visual part and the audio part. So the dark blue bands are the video and the light blue, bland, blue bands are the audio. Um, here's zooming in on four of our lovely altos. So um, here, Katrina up at the top, this is the video part. And then uh, here's her audio. And the audio, you know, sound comes in waves. And so what you see, these little squiggles you see are, um, are those sound waves actually re represented visually. Um, you see here with Katrina, she's got four really crisp little peaks and those were her claps. Um, then here, this is further down in the stack, this, the alto demo, that was the alto version of the accompaniment track that they sang along with, I have four of those little peaks too. So just visually, all I have to do is make sure that those peaks line up um, and, uh, and then we should be good to go. We should be um, all in sync. So this, uh, so then at that point, now I have to start dealing with every individual video. Um, and and tweaking that. So this is the video that I that I created. Um, it you know notice it takes the, the whole height of the of the screen, um, 
if you look at the size of my head, God, David's got such a big head about himself. Um, <laughs> there's no way that I could get 30 some people on the screen if everybody's head was that size. So um, I had to crop, which means getting rid of all the stuff around the outside um, and shrink so that um, I could start uh, fitting everybody on the screen. So ended up kind of doing something like that and then moving it around to where I ultimately wanted on the screen. So after doing that for everybody, this was kind of a rough uh, placement. Um, and notice how sloppy it is. You know, the, the edges are not, you know, they don't, nothing lines up, some, some overlap, you know, others uh, a little bit. And, um, and I thought, oh my gosh, it is gonna take forever to do the painstaking, really tedious, work of fine tuning all of those all of those edges and i came up with an idea i created this which is an overlay um all of those black boxes are actually transparent so you can see what is behind them but the you know the light gray um is uh is opaque so starting with this and then simply adding this on top, suddenly all of the, everything is nice and clean. So um, that was a, a, I. That's working smarter, not harder. <laughs> yeah, I was happy that I uh, thought of that. So we had 29 singers on this song and then three instrumentalists. So we've got Chip and his twin brother Chip over here. And then uh, Anne, who is, if you don't know her, she's our secretary and bass player. Um, and then 29, 29 singers. Um, so then I started playing with, you know, adding a few effects at this point, um, fade ins at the beginning of the song and then fade outs at the end. The way the song is structured, um, the sopranos start first the instrument, first the claves, then the drums, then the piano and the bass, and then the vocals come in. And it's first just the sopranos, and then the altos join, and then the tenors join, and then the basses join. So at the at the beginning, when the sopranos start to sing, they're the only faces you see. And then just before the altos start to sing, I start fading them in. And this image here, this is kind of mid fade. They are about to, about to sing. And then at the end of the piece, the exact opposite happens. First, the basses drop out, then the tenors drop out, then the altos drop out, and then finally the, the sopranos um, uh, end it. So did that. So then once that was done, I, I had the software generate a video with just that one single static view of the, of the entire choir from beginning to end. Um, it would be a building block that I would use then later. Um, but it, it meant, um, oh yeah, I'll get to that. So, um, so then, after creating... Hey, David. Yes. Uh, before you go on, how long did that take to render? Um, with 35 layers of, uh, of video, that was probably three, four hours. Three, four hours to turn that from the program into an actual video that could be played and then put yeah. back into the program to then edit around. That took like three yes. or four hours just for the software to create that. Yeah, for me to click, boom, and then... Go Walk find away from else. the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks. Um, it's it's such a computer intensive uh, uh, activity. The the rendering, which is the the cre actually creating frame by frame um, the entire video. So then I turned my attention and did something similar with just focusing on each of the four groups: soprano, alto, tenor, bass, SATB. So I created new overlays 
This one was for the Sopranos. We had nine of them. And because now I'm only having to fit a fewer uh, amount of faces on the screen, um, that meant all of those windows and, and then everybody's faces could be so much bigger than in the full shot. So that's what that ended up looking like. And our eight altos and our six tenors and our six basses and our three instrumentalists. So then I did the same thing with uh, with each of those. So I generated, rendered five more from beginning to end videos with just that single view. So the great thing about this meant then that now I will only have six videos, six layers of video to deal with instead of 35, which is so much easier both for me and for my computer. My computer was very grateful. So now that I've got those six different views, now it's just a question of kind of making directorial creative decisions about what are we gonna be looking at at any given point um, in the song um, uh, and decide if, when, and how video will move across the screen. And there were a couple ways we did that. Um, there are times when each of the sections would come in from either top or bottom or from the side and other points in the song when folks came in diagonally just to shake things up a little bit. Um, Hi, Ali. Hi, the Ali. final steps, um, I you know added a few more final splashy effects. Um, one thing that I, so I've, I've developed video editing skills in this, in this last year, but sound editing is just not in my wheelhouse. Um, and I uh, did not trust myself and my abilities to end up with a product that we would be happy with. So uh, my brother, who's a professional sound engineer, um, I elicited his help and he did all the sound mixing and did a wonderful job of, you know, he had to do, go through the same process. He stripped away all the video and just dealt with everybody's individual audio. He had to do the aligning and then balancing and adding a little reverb and, you know, all the little tricks that sound engineers do. And then generated the final video. Now, because I was dealing with so many fewer layers, that took much less time than, than it had earlier. So the end, the end uh, product is here. Um, we're gonna actually watch this now that you kind of have gotten a glimpse behind the curtain at the process. Um, are, there, are there any questions that you have right now before we actually watch this? Okay, hearing none, here's Jazz Gloria.
Yeah, it, you know, it's, it's so imperfect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, you know, like 75% of the way through, I thought, oh, I wish I'd made a different choice. Like I would have loved um, the, the way the song is structured. It's four, it's four independent melodies that all happen at the same time and they get tossed back and forth between each of the four sections. And I wish that I had put like I, like I do often with videos for Sunday morning is put the lyrics on the bottom of like the Sopranos. Here's what they are singing as they are going by, but it was, I was, the ship had sailed at that point. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> so there's that. So any questions about Jazz Goya? We're gonna go on to um, Silent Night. And you may need to unmute yourself. I've muted some folks during the presentation. So if you have a question, uh, raise your hand or unmute yourself and speak up. All right, okay. Not seeing any. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Um, so Night of Silence and Silent Night. It's these two songs that, that can be sung um, uh, one on top of another. Um, Uh, and yeah, I just, uh, oh, I, I, I adore this. So um, because this song now was going to involve congregational involvement, um, I, need, I needed to put actual notated music on the screen. Um, which had not obviously been the case for Jazz Gloria. So I needed to kind of redesign the look and the layout. So um, I, I spaced the choir around the perimeter of, this, of the screen so that I could put a music slide in the center and then um, add the choir that way. Um, one of the so I, I am on this, on this recording, I'm singing Night of Silence and then the choir comes in on verse two, um, um, humming Silent Night. And so they, they fade in, they're at 50%, it's called opacity, uh, how opaque it is. Um, so they're, they're kind of half there. And then on the next verse, they're ooing, um, so making a little bit more sound. So then I bumped them up to 75%. And then once we all are singing together, then they're at 100%. Um, <clears throat> then for the, for the second half, which is just Silent Night, and this is when the candle lighting is going to start happening, um, I needed the entire center of the screen open um, for candles. So again, another redesign. Now everybody's just in a straight line across the top 
and the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Assuming that we all knew how um, Silent Night went, I thought we don't need actual notated music. So I just project, uh, added lyrics along the bottom, um, along uh, on top of the red band at the bottom of the page. And then all of the candle action was gonna be in the middle. <clears throat> so it ended up looking uh, something like this. This is um, Brennan lighting the candle. And, uh, and then I'd asked him to pretend like he was just like would happen if we were in the same room, like reaching out. Um, he took a taper from the Christ candle, lit the taper, and then I asked him, go out of the shot, reach outside of the, the, the shot of the, of the video to your right for a moment as if you were lighting a candle and then do the same thing off to the left. And this ended up being one of my favorite moments right here when that first candle got lit. It just, it looked, it looked like real life um, in that moment. Um, <clears throat> and, and he said that he felt so goofy doing that too when he was recording it to just like <laughs> but it, it magic of video yeah yeah um so uh and then i asked had asked folks to submit um candle lighting videos of them lighting candles at home <clears throat> and uh that was the final image um, notice, notice the Christ candle, the orange one in the center, and look at its size and how that is framed. And then this is the image at the end. So the the it's that particular shot is just on one very 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 slow zoom. Um, your attention is drawn elsewhere because candles are appearing. Um, all over the screen. So, but um, just subtly, the the Christ candle is zooming in and in. Um, so that's it. So let's um, let's now watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for just a second. So just. Uh, a little bit, a, a little bit of story about Night of Silence. So, uh, it was Christmas of 1979, and it was my. I was home from my freshman year in college, and went to a Christmas party of um, uh, some high school friends, and um, there were there was there was a guy there, um, my age who had just written this song. And, um, and it was a very musical group of, you know, we had done theater and stuff. And so very musical group of kids. And he had, he had photocopies of this song that he had just written. And it was a song to be sung uh, at the same time as Silent Night. And we stood around the piano and we sang this and the song was Night of Silence. And it has gone on uh, it, I don't know how many hymnals it is published in, and it has become beloved, um, particularly um, uh, in Catholic communities, but um, uh, Protestant as well. But um, uh, I, I treasured and held onto that photocopy for years and years, but somewhere along the line over the decades, it's disappeared. I wish I still had that. But so anyway, this is Night of Silence. Oh, darn it. Oh. 
frozen in the snow lie roses sleeping flowers that will echo the sunrise fire of hope is our only So here comes the choir humming Silent Night. Voice in the distance calling the night on wind you enfold us you speak of the night gentle on the ear you whisper So embracing, breathless love awaits dark and stars. Soon will we know of the
Christmas Eve all over again. And well, that chokes me up. Me too. I got I got goosebumps when that started again. Well, so that's it. So questions or are... I've got a question, David. Yeah. Now that you've acquired perfection on your first efforts, <laughs> how long will it take next time you're asked? How much less time will it take to do it again? Um, you know, I should have I should have kept a tally. Um, uh, I so normally my job is like roughly half time, and for the month of December I was working um, full time and and more, but um, gratefully, um, St. Luke paid me a full-time salary for the month of December. But, um, you know, for a good four or five weeks, I was um, working long days on this. Um, yeah, it, it would take less now that I've kind of figured out um, how to do it. Um, I don't know how much after all the work that went into the recording. I don't know how much interest there is on the on the choir end of doing another. Mm -hmm. um, um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm making no promises. So instead of a hundred hours, it'd be like eighty five. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's still even though <laughs> even though like I I will have been down those rapids before. It's still it's just it, it's a painstaking. Um, step by step time consuming time consuming process mm -hmm. some things yeah. go i have a question david what mm -hmm. you know I, I noticed looking carefully that of course the, the video and the audio were not synced yeah uh, not always which doesn't seem to really matter in terms of the overall effect but i wonder what is it what kind of an effort would have taken to do that? Yeah, I, you know, things that, gosh, it started, you know, we're all in sync at the beginning of the piece. And by the end, that, that was something that I just, I, I just gave up um, uh, trying to solve because that was, I, I didn't know why. Um, and didn't know how to fix the problem. The, the, only, the only time I addressed it was at the very, very end of Silent Night, um, singing that very last phrase, holy one at thy birth. It was so obvious that, that some people's mouths were moving at a radically different place. Um, um, if, if I had to, first of all, if I had to do that Silent Night again, I would do a video of me conducting because I think it, we would have d done a better job of being together. Um, but that said, you know, it there was an organic feel about it, even though it wasn't really crisp and clear. Um, in the room, in the sanctuary on, on Christmas Eve, the whole congregation singing, we're not all together. That's right. So. Um, I, I loved know, hearing those random little voices here and there. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm in the sanctuary on Christmas Eve. It was great. So I did, I did just on that very last phrase, I did some, some little video edits where I would move someone's mouth so that it moved just a little. So if you watch really closely on a few people, you can see, um, you know, suddenly the video transitions like from oh they're not exactly where they were a second ago you know um those are easter so, eggs yeah. so go back on the on the youtube <laughs> click it a lots lots of times get those view counts up and then yeah, yeah. see who's it whose it is and report back you'll get a you'll get a candy. <laughs> um so we have about five minutes left with david here this morning um is there any any other questions comments praises that y'all want to shower on him? Carol, Carol, yeah. I, well, first of all, David, I mean, I just, it, it's just stunning to look at the work that went into all that. Um, I can't, I would, I don't even know how to ask a question because most of mm -hmm. what you were talking about and doing, I didn't understand. <laughs> but the little, um, even when we're talking about the little um, erratic things for the voices, most of us, probably all of us would never notice that. I mean, we would expect if yeah. you had 
voices coming from different houses. I was just amazed that the sound all went together. Mm. And we would we would never notice those those little things. You would only notice because you had done it. And I wanted to ask, can you submit this? To, I mean, is there some sort of nationwide <laughs> contest on quote amateur? This is hardly amateur um, productions like this. It's amazing. Not that not that I've heard of. Oh. Yeah. But if anyone hears of one, you be sure to let any either of us know, and we'll be sure to do that. Um, I will agree with that. That I. I've been here. I've learned a lot more about David's process. I had no idea that he sent you all a tape of himself with instructions and all these videos and think that's what that is above and beyond. So well done, David. Um, Carol Thomas. Say, I am so grateful for the finished product because you know I miss I miss choir. Mm -hmm. I miss yeah. singing in choir. I miss you people. And um, doing it all alone in my bedroom was really strange. Yeah. <laughs> and I hated what I sounded like all by myself with no accompaniment. <laughs> um, but this, oh my gosh, this was, I was crying as I watched this today. I think next time I'm going to record it in the shower because it sounds so much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Video uh, off. I would like to say uh, that uh, a very big thank you to David. I mean, he, he, he saved my, my whole recording. I, as he <laughs> mentioned, there were a few of us uh, that had trouble doing the record, sending it to him. I mean, I, could, I had trouble with the recording because of other reasons, uh, not enough power, not enough uh, memory in my, in my phone and so on. But that's, that's uh, you know, maybe other people may have had that too. But getting it to David, I, I sent him, I don't know, three or four times. I sent it to him. He said, Ben, it's only a photo. It's not any music. <laughs> <laughs> so fortunately, I had a chance to, uh, to get it to him because he said, Ben, we live in the same basic neighborhood in Hopkins. So why don't you just drive over on your bike, <laughs> bring me your phone, <laughs> and I'll download it. So I took his phone, wiped it down, brought it into my computer, <laughs> hooked it up, downloaded oh it. Oh my goodness! Wiped it down back, back, and handed it back to back to Ben. So and, uh, and all that time, I was waiting outside, you know, thinking it would be like maybe half an hour, you know, waiting outside. And no, he was back in five minutes, <laughs> and and I had spent hours <laughs> oh, trying dear. to get it to him. <laughs> oh. David, above and no, beyond. No, I don't mean to stress that. But another thing I will mention, if you don't, this is personal, very personal, I'm sorry. But uh, I have an older brother and two, two younger sisters, and we sing together. And some people have called us the Van Trap Van family, you know, singers, <laughs> Van of singers. So I, and I just, you know, said to my, one of my sisters, I said, we're going to sing this on Christmas Eve, and it's going to be on, you know, uh, available. Why don't you see it? She saw it and sent it to my a brother and sister mm -hmm. and they all came back to me and said it was wonderful ben it was mm -hmm. just you know so wonderful so thank you for that <laughs> that's, great. that's great that's great and on that that was a learning curve for us too um i am i don't know if we're ever going to do this but we still do receive videos from congregants on occasion for our online worships for our virtual worships and i am working on getting a tab on our members section of our web page where all you do it's just like you go to Facebook and you click a thing and it pulls up your thing and mm. and you select a file and then you submit it to the website and then it's done. Just done and done. I'm I'm like this to close set. to getting it figured out. So <laughs> that's that little hurdle shouldn't be around if and that's a big if this ever comes around again. Nancy, thought, you have a question? No, just a comment. Um, I thought it was a wonderful Christmas gift to each of us in the congregation from the choir and also from you, David. It, it meant so much to, sit, to hear that and to be able to see it. Thanks, Nancy. Very welcome. Um, we, have, we are about out of time. Um, any final burning questions, thoughts, comments, praises? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Can we thank give you. David thank one you, of these? Everyone unmute Yay. your mic and give him one of these. Yay. Yeah. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Thank you choir, thank you, for David. all your work. And for the choir, yes, doing yes. all that work. Well oh done, well done, well done. Yeah. Thank you, everyone.
Um, right. And thanks for being here for Adult Ed. It's been a wonderful, illuminating experience. I know I've mm -hmm. learned a lot. I can't wait to go make my own virtual choir um, with my daughter <laughs> soon. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll be sure to let you know. Um, otherwise, I will see you in about 15 minutes for a worship service online on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll see you then. Thanks, yeah. everybody. We'll see you Thank next you. week. Hi, y'all. So good to Thank see you your faces. You Perfect. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Bye, everybody. <laughs>